barbershop conversation, guys. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. So Houston, Texas, we're coming for y'all. We're about to have a great time. Flyers, I'm going to drop the flyer maybe when the kids take a nap in a little bit right now. But real quick, I'm just waking up from the uh, Anthony Joshua and Andy Ruiz press. I just woke up. What happened? <laughs> I have no idea what happened. <laughs> I got. I was on the phone with my boy Tyron Brown, and he he and he and I shared the same sentiment as we like. I was like, "What?" I ended up. I, I don't pick up the honestly. I, I'm letting the cow out the bag for the niggas that be calling me. I don't pick up the phone when I'm watching something on boxing. You know, like I'll 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 forward you the voicemail, and then I'll send you a text like, "Give me 15 or something like that. Or not unless I know you're calling me in response to this or what I'm watching, you know. But outside of that, I'll 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 send you the voicemail and do it. But honestly, Tyron called me, and shout out to Tyron. He he hooked me up with a great opportunity. Um, he called me during the press conference. And I just picked up the phone, you know. I'm like, hey, what's up? Didn't care. I mean, honestly, Andy Ruiz has no personality. Anthony Joshua has no personality. What they should have did, I don't know if they let Sam Watson speak, but Sam Watson would have brought some life to the room. Whether him talking about him dealing with Mike Tyson, Evander Holyfield, to Deontay Wilder, to, you know, he is probably in that room the most uh, boxing historian that they had on that DS. I don't know everyone on the DS, so I'm slightly being biased because I didn't know anyone that was on Anthony Joshua's side. So. But uh, anyways, man, what a yawner. I'm, um, I don't know how they're going to sell tickets off that presser. They're they going to do something. <clears> they're going to do something at the weigh-in. <coughs> and my next video, guys, is going to be pretty powerful. Thanks to Tyron Brown. He broke that junk all the way down. And you guys are going to be like, how did this go over my head? Anyways, man, barbershop conversation, man. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. I just did this video to wake y'all up. Put some energy, put some pep in y'all step. You know what I mean? All my all my fake black men uh, in the comments section saying I'm, I'm, I'm tearing Anthony Joshua down. Man, get the fuck out of here. How about you guys write a letter to Match Room and, 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 and talk about how Blue Blood don't have a credential? How about you donate? How about you donate to what I'm doing in the city of Houston? How about you do that? Stop stop being a keyboard black man. How about you uh how about you tell your son or daughter about Malcolm X, Marcus Garvey, uh uh Angela Davis, uh Huey P. Newton. They they shouldn't just know who Nipsey Hussle is, Jay Z, Oprah Winfrey, Barack Obama. You understand? I, I don't y'all y'all niggas are, are are just full of it. You know what I mean? And, and let me tell you something. If it walks like a duck, talks like a duck, it is a duck. It quacks like a duck, it is a duck. All right? Anthony Joshua is suspect, and you guys can live and die with it if you want to. Who gives it? It is what it is. I call a spade a spade until proven otherwise. You know, you know what I'm saying. So, and um, it, it's just what I inherently believe. You know, and I am entitled since I own this content on since I own this space on YouTube. I can say what I want, and thank and thankful to me. I'm I. I say what I feel on most times. So until proven otherwise, he is what he is. These these guys wasn't these guys were the same guys that was laughing at Floyd Mayweather, Ford Gay Runner. Um, what else were they saying about Floyd Mayweather's boots? Who I don't approve. I didn't approve of those boots either. But I'm saying you guys were laughing at that. But because you're a fan of Anthony Josh, oh don't man get the fuck out of here, man. How about you spend your time? Um, uh, protecting Megan's law in your community. Do something else. Stop being a keyboard black man. Be a black man in real life. All y'all are fake. Not all y'all. I Meaning some of y'all are fake black men. You know, I mean, I already know what you guys say. Oh, you, oh, you had a baby with an Asian woman. I get it. I know. Been my best friend for twenty three years. Deal with it. It ain't changing. So, anyways, as I digress, but but I will say this: you have a right to your opinion on that, and and whatever you feel about that is okay. But I will say this too. You better raise your you better raise your kids with the truth. Like it, love it, or hate it. Raise your kids with and the only way you can raise your kids with the truth is if you lived your truth. Period. I'ma live as a black man, I'ma die as a black man. So what I gotta do? I gotta tell the truths of a black man. And that's what I and that's what I inherently believe. 
So, enjoy your life. I will enjoy mine. I'm about to cut this. I'm about to cut this video off, and it's gonna take me ten minutes to walk to the under, the other end of my house because I live in a mansion. Well, not really a mansion, but you know, it's pretty damn big. But you know, and and I'm enjoying my kids. I got the piano instructor about to come over and teach my son how to play piano. I'm about to live my best life. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to literally live my best life. So y'all live y'all best life. All right, and stop being fake black men on the internet. Be a black man in real life. Don't donate. I do. Thank you. D donate to Houston. I've only had three or four people donate to what I'm doing in Houston. How about you do that? Or how about you put on your own event? Instead of, man, anyways, man, be black and be proud. I know. I'm, I'm, I'm talking to some COINTEL pro niggas. I already know. Barbershop conversations, man. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. And you guys see, you guys hear, hear how hollow it is in my house? You guys, I hear a hollow, how hollow the sounds are. That means you got a really big house. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know that So anyways man I will continue to troll y'all And I will continue to piss y'all off And uh, to all my brothers out there who, who, who I fuck with heavy I love y'all We gonna keep on fighting this good fight Cause at the end of the day I uh, I uh, Tyron was breaking this down for me I literally didn't want to talk about him No more but it is important that we do because Eddie Hearn is committed to spreading his message. Whatever that message may be, and albeit I disagree with it, right? But at the end of the day, he is. So we have to be committed to debunking that message and telling the truth. Deontay Wilder is the truth. Period. End of discussion. He's the truth. Like it, love it, hey, he, he is one of the realest fighters in the game. I, I'm not going to say the realist because, you know, I've, I've met I've met a few others, you know, but uh, he's real. I, I, I've given you guys a great story about Deontay Wilder. I text him on something that was medium important. He, I knew he was at the final four because I knew who, who he was with. I thought he was going to text me back. The nigga called me back because all I needed was a yes or no from him. That's all I needed. The nigga called me back and we had a 10 minute conversation. In the final four, I can hear the people in the background cheering and hooting and hollering and hooting and hollering. I'm like, nigga, I said that. I said, nigga, you at the final four. Then go live your best life, nigga. I got you. And I hung up the phone. So I'm telling you, and I know many of you guys are going to vicariously meet Deontay Wilder through me. So I think it's important that I share these stories with you guys so you guys can understand the realities of who he is. He's a man's man. You don't see him wearing tight jeans with another man wearing tight jeans with a ponytail. Where you get where you get that shit at? Come on, man. Men move like men. Men ain't metrosexual. Men are men. Period. Ain't no such thing as a metrosexual alpha male. Who makes this stuff up? And then they create the term, oh, you're homophobic. No, I'm a man. Y'all don't understand that. Y'all confused right now, but what the hell I'm saying? Ain't no such thing as a homophobic alpha male. A man is a man. Ain't no such thing as a metrosexual male. A man is a man. Period. End of discussion. Barbershop conversations, man. Wake y'all asses up. I know y'all just fell asleep during that press conference. I'll holler. Peace.